Hello guys, ladies and gentlemen. Hello all my friends. Okay, today let me be very sincere. I would like to thank you all for following my channel on my podcast, personal personal podcast. I record from my house, from my room. But um, the feedback is good. I'm impressed. Actually, I want to thank you all. Today, I want to talk about AKK, AKA case again. AKA case. Okay. Uh, as you know, that it was postponed last week. Okay. There have been many postponements. But there is something very important that I wanted to share with everybody. What is going on? This just my view it's not the truth but it's actually i've been vindicated in many instances i've been vindicated okay something that i have prophesized or something that i have predicted that this case will go like this like this it ends up becoming exactly what i say and i'm impressed i'm happy um now what is going on I, it's, this is just commentary like commentary commentary like a commentator like trying to interpret what's going on to some people that want to understand what is going on okay yes we we may be saying the truth or we may be not saying the truth all right but lucky enough like you say most of the things that i've said have come out to be true even in Senzo Meiwa case, some of the things that I said when it came out to be exactly what I had said that this case would go like this, like this, like this, likely to be like this, like this, like this. It's just how I understand the law. Just how I understand the law. So, similarly, I know some of the people who follow my channel. My channel is not followed by too many people, but it's very unique. So, to some of the some of the people who follow my channel are commentators as well. Okay, I would like to tell you that be sincere, be original, and be frank. Okay, don't take sides. Sometimes taking side is not good. On the be on the middle. Okay, balanced. What they say balanced and justified so um, I'm very concerned with accused number four accused number four when the case adjourned aka case accused number four made uh, uh, made a statement okay through his lawyer and actually what was happening what he said is admitting that he indeed hired the cars. Okay? He indeed hired the cars that were that that are implicated in the case of uh, AKA murder. Okay, I have some flukes. <laughs> Maybe my voice you would uh, find that my voice is husky because I have some flu. Um, the problem, the problem is that that that. Um, I think he has put himself at, at a corner. Okay, it was too early for him to admit that he indeed. I think there was a way he could have presented his case without admitting. You see, it was possible to do that, but he admitted that yes, I hired the cars. Okay, but that was ten months ago. Okay? Ten months before the death of, you know, uh, AKA. We are familiar with this kind of, you know, defense. Everybody's familiar. Even the courts are familiar with this kind of. This is called alibi defense. Alibi defense is the defense of absence. The defense of absence, where you you want to argue that you were not there when the when the incident happened. You were not there. It's called the defense of absence. So I'm very very concerned because this is not gonna work because. When the police came up with the, you know, information that they, they presented in the court, that information, um, implicating a suspect number four, okay, in everything they say, they already cross-checked because in the police they have experts, okay, who would review every instance, okay, or instance. Every implication of a person is implied, impl impl implicated. Okay, they would not just say that this person hired these cars, right? And those cars are the ones that were found on the uh, on the scene of murder. No, they cross-checked. All those things they cross-checked the dates and everything. But he said that he 
higher those cars earlier, okay, 10 months before they split, all right? So here he has put himself at the corner. It was better for him not to admit. You see, there was a way to go about not to admit the case. So if he had not admitted the case, possibly there could have been a way around for his lawyers maybe to say, to claim that maybe the person who hired those cars was not him. Even if there was that ID, you see, there was that ID. He could claim that my ID got lost. He could claim that I don't have my ID. He could claim, maybe, maybe he has a day. Okay, but he could claim that this is a blessed ID. <laughs> what if you would say this is a replaced ID? Replaced means it was a replaced. It's not the original one. You had to make another ID. They could maybe go to a hotel and try to cross check, but what what is it? That is never replaced ID. That would be put for arguments. Okay. So there could have been arguments, but I think he he's put himself at the corner by admitting that he hired those guys. He is the one who hired those guys. And that he knows the company where those cars were hired. You see? But some of his um uh are co-accused. They have denied some of the charges and say we don't know those guys. We don't know. At least that's somewhere to start from because when you're making your defense and uh, throwing the law, it's not easy. Okay. To say, I don't know. You see, they cannot, the state cannot put inside your head to say, you know, even if you know something, if you say, I, I don't know, perhaps, okay, it can be for arguments that I don't know this thing. Okay, this thing, I don't know. Okay, maybe I can talk, okay? So that becomes something that becomes stronger when you're making it. But when you start with admitting that, yes, this thing is me who hired, it means that he knows that company where those cars were being hired from. He knows that company and he has been hired in that company. So I think it's put himself at the corner because now the state is the remaining with only to put him in the right dates. And then when they place their after they in the right dates, okay? And it's gonna be very difficult for his attorneys to fight off that case. I think so. Because I was very concerned when I watched his attorney admitting that yes, I hired those cars. And then admission, another admission, that one of um, the, the accounts, details, and transactions as well. And then he, he said, if, if this transaction, the transaction that we did, and, and the money coming from the Gaba brothers, if that money was for the crime, why not arrest the, or, uh, the person who deposited that money? The Gabba brother. Why not arrest the Gabba brother? I was also concerned with that statement because ah, it's not the right statement to say. Because by that, he's actually admitting everything. He's actually admitting everything. So it's going to be very difficult that case. is going to be very hard for him. I think so. Thank you guys for watching my channel. It's a small channel, but I'm very, very, very happy. I'm impressed with the feedback from the people. Thank you so much.